Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Oh, the stakes are high with this one. It's the Abyss. It's the Abyss completion run, thanks to YB Man 6's hard work. And he is showing us the last 2% milk. That's right, the last 2% of this fight. It also appears like he might have recorded it on a VCR. Um, it does get a little bit clearer, maybe? I don't know. Ooh, down to 10%, but hey. Nope. He went in. He took down that final part of the collector. One real arm and all. And now all of a sudden, you can see that the, the despair has given form. And we have ourselves a crystal opening commentary abyss submission. I am so nervous for him because this thing is the biggest gamble in content. But he has, let's just, wait, 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 let's, let's go back, pause, let's go back, whoop. Okay, let's, let's just look at all the classes that he can land on for the Awakening Gem and the Tier 5 Class Catalyst. He has given himself a huge margin of error. He's got Doom covered with Mystic, a combination of Red Mags and Apocalypse with Mutant, Nick Fury, even though he's unawakened, so we're going to want skill for the Awakening Gem. Cosmic Corvus, Tech Ghost. The only class, and I say this nervously, the only class that he doesn't have a straight, no-brainer, no-doubter to rank three is Science. But he has a lot of champs that could benefit from being awakened. Including Omega Red, chilling at the bottom there. I love that King Groot's like, Got no ISO in him. He's like, I hate him so much, I'm not even going to put ISO in him. It's a disrespect to my ISO. All right. Is he going straight for the jugular? I'd always start with the crystals. I'd always go that five-star, double six-star. I would wait on these items. But maybe he's one of those guys that likes to eat dessert first before the meal. Make sure you've got the uh, enough room in your stomach for it. I can respect that game, you know? Don't desert your strategy. All right, we are going for the number one option of skill for Nick Fury. But number two, close second, mutant for Omega Red. Skill or mutant. Red or yellow, red or yellow. And what did I say was the only class he did not need? Green. 0 for 1. Big time 0 for 1. That is pain, everybody. Please do not tell me that the tier five class catalyst is green as well. That would be amongst the most painful openings I have ever seen in all of the years I've been commentating your crystal openings, YouTube. Please no green. Don't do it. Kabam, this, this summoner deserves better. Deserves way better than green. Five out of six chance. What is that, 83%? 83% chance to get a class he can instantly use. Don't give him green. Don't do it. Nope. Nope. Stay out of here. Stay out of there. Stay out of there. Okay. Whew. Talk about stressful. I have never been more stressed commentating an abyss opening. Double rolled green. Now he can take mags up. Red mags. Or apocalypse if he so chooses to do apocalypse. Which also, now that I say that out loud, sounds like an internet phrase. But hey, who knows? Maybe, just maybe, one of these two six-star basics will awaken either his white mags, or his red mags, I should say, not white mags, or apocalypse. <laughs> I'm getting choked up. I'm so emotional. Thank God I've got water next to me for emergency moments like this. All right. First six-star. Here we go. It is slowing down, it is slowing down, it is slowing down, and Guillotine is solid, but not Red Hulk or Void. Speaking of, if you landed on Void, suddenly it's like, oh man, I've got a great science champion that I can awaken. Now you still could, if you got Captain America Infinity War in this too. Captain Bay, my, my man's a little jealous because he had to use his generic on his Captain America Infinity War. He would have preferred a class-based crystal, I'm sure. And Corvus? No way. Well, so much for needing Cosmic to awaken Corvus. That's unbelievable. I haven't seen that ever 
in 7-1 completion. And by 7-1, I mean the abyss. I am clearly deliriously tired right now. That is fantastic. I went from never being so anxious about a crystal opening being screwed with the double signs to really feeling great for this guy because he's got red mags now can take to rank three or apocalypse depending on his choice. And he awakened his Corvus from the shards, which is crazy rare. Congratulations, YB man. You YB free. Do I know what that means? Of course not. But I said it and we're ending the crystal opening commentary with that random awkward phrase.